When we have a transformation, it can either be a translation, which is where we just move the shape. So we keep the shape the same, we just move it up and down and left and right. We can have an enlargement, which is where the shape gets bigger or smaller. We can have a rotation, which is where we, where we rotate a shape, we spin it around, or we can have a reflection, which is where a shape is reflected across a mirror line. It's mirrored. In these questions, we're looking at reflections. The first question here says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So to get from triangle A to triangle B, we can reflect it. We can have a mirror line. The mirror line is exactly halfway between the two shapes. If you take any point, any corner, any point on shape A and look at how far you've got to go to get to the line, to the mirror line. So if you go two away to the mirror line, for shape B, it'd be two away on the other side. So these red points are both two away from the mirror line. And we can do the same for each of the corners. So this purple point is two away from the mirror line. And on B, that same point will be two away on the other side. And for this green point, it's five away from the mirror line. So for B, we're going to have a point five away on the other side. So we know we've got the right mirror line. And what is the name of that mirror line? So to describe a reflection, we need two bits of information. The first bit is that it's a reflection. So we can write reflection. And then we need to know the equation of the mirror line. So in which line is it reflected in? And it's this line which is called x equals negative 1. So reflection in the line x equals negative 1. It's called x equals negative 1 because for every point on this line, we've got an x coordinate of negative 1. So the line is called x equals negative 1. So that's the information we need. Reflection in the line x equals negative 1. Here's a question for you to try. So describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So again, we can see it's a reflection. So that's our first bit of information, reflection. And we need to know in which line. So where is the mirror line? Where is, in which line is the shape reflected? And this time it is the x-axis or the line y equals zero. So we can write reflection in the x axis. And again, if we look at every point on A, so this corner was one away from the mirror line. So there's a point one away on the other side. This point was three away. So there's a point three away on the other side. And this point, the shortest distance to mirror line is three away. So there's a point three away on the other side. Here is a different reflection. So we can see this time it hasn't been reflected in a straight line. It's been reflected in a diagonal line. And there's a really common line that's used for reflections and it is this line here the diagonal line called y equals x this line is called y equals x and at every point along the line the y value and the x value are the same so it goes through 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and so on so it's called y equals x so that is our mirror line this time so every point on A, if we go the shortest distance to the line, which is a diagonal this time, so one away 
one away on the other side. And to this corner, it's one, two and a half away. So there's half, one, two, two and a half away on the other side is the point on B. And for this point on A, it's two and a half away. So two and a half away on the other side is the point on B. So it's a reflection. How can we describe the transformation? So it's a reflection, re reflection in the line. And the line is called Y equals X. So that's the information we need to describe that transformation. Here's one for you to try. So see if you can describe this transformation. So again, it's going to be a reflection. That's the first bit of information. And what is the line? What's the mirror line? In which line is it reflected? So it's this line here this time. And what is the name of this line? So it's y equals negative x. So every, when y is 1, x is negative 1. When y is 2, x is negative 2 and so on. So the diagonal line that goes through negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2, negative 3, 3, is called y equals negative x. So we've got a reflection in the line y equals negative x. Here's a different question. This time we're being asked to reflect the shape. And the first question says reflect shape A in the line Y equals 5. So Y equals 5 all the way across this line. So everywhere on this line has got a Y value of 5. And that actually cuts through the shape. So it's an interesting question. So if we take each corner individually we can see what the shape's going to look like. So this point was one away from the mirror line. The shortest distance is going to be a straight line this time. So one away, one away on the other side. This point was one away from the mirror line. So one away on the other side. For this point, we were two away. So we go two away on the other side. And finally, the last corner, two away, two away on the other side. So if we join up our new points, we can see what the shape looks like. So there is our new shape. Here's one for you to try. So reflect triangle A in the X axis. X axis is this line here. So this is our mirror line. And each point is going to be the same distance away but on the other side. So for this red point, we're one away. So we go one away on the other side. This green point was three away. So we go three away on the other side. And this purple point, again, three away three away on the other side. So let's join up the corners. And there is our new shape. And now we've got a reflection in the line y equals x. So the line y equals x goes through 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and so on. So again, we can take each corner individually and we're going the shortest distance to the, to the mirror line. So we're going to be going diagonally. So this red point was half away. So we're going half away on the other side. For this green point, it was one and a half. So we go one and a half on the other side. And this purple point was one, two, three. So one, two, three. And we'll join them up. And this will be our new triangle. 
that's a reflection in the line y equals x. Here's another one to reflect in the line y equals x. So the line that goes through 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. So again, we can take each point one by one, and we're going the same distance away from the mirror line on the other side. So two away, two away, and one and a half, one and a half. I'm just going to join up these points, and I've got my reflected shape. Okay, two questions to finish up. So pause the video and try and give these a go. So question one, describe the transformation. There are two bits of information we need. The first is that it is a reflection. And the second is the line. It's reflected in the mirror line. So it's a reflection in the line or not the line, this is a reflection in the y-axis. We could have written the line x equals zero. That's the same as the y-axis, but reflection in the y-axis. Question two, again, we're reflecting in the y-axis. So the mirror line is the y-axis. So each point will be the same distance away. So the shortest distance is gonna be a straight line so one away, one away on the other side. This point was one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four on the other side. And again, four away, four away. So reflected in the y-axis, this is our shape.